Hey, welcome back to Everyday Faith, day 29. We got an encouraging scripture and devotion for you today, and I'm stoked to jump into this uh, because I think this is something that's gonna bring a lot of hope uh, and encouragement to all of us watching and viewing uh, all around the world. So here's what it says, 2 Corinthians 2.15. Our lives are a Christ-like fragrance rising up to God. How incredible to think that your life is something that pleases God, exclamation mark. The way Paul described it, it's as if your life is like God's perfume of choice. When you live the story he has called you to, he takes a light in it and he chooses to put it on display for others to see. As you journey forward in pursuit of God's story for your life, remember that you are loved, accepted, cared for, believed in, strengthened, empowered, supported, prayed for, called, and trusted by God. Let me read that again in case you missed it. As you journey forward in pursuit of God's story for your life, remember that you are loved, you are accepted, you are cared for, you who are watching on the other side of this video are believed in, you are strengthened, you are empowered, you are supported, you are prayed for, you are called, and you are trusted by God. He knew who you were and he saw who you could become. He's chosen you to be his representative to the world, to your world, so be encouraged and live your story boldly. Man, is that good. Uh, I, I love this because God has called each of us. God loves each of us. And I love that line. He knew who we were and he chose us and he saw who we could become. I love that because a lot of people see who I am or see where I am, but they don't always see like where I'm going or they don't see where or who I could become. And God knew that from the beginning and he called me and he chose me. And that gives me hope because who I am or who I was is not always something I'm very proud of. But when I reflect on the fact that God sees who I could become, like that gives me excitement because God saw my potential and he spoke it over me before anyone else did and he's done the same for you. So your life, when you live the story God has given you, when you live the story God has called you into, it becomes like the Paul wrote, a sweet smelling aroma. You know, I think of like my cologne or I think of, you know, my wife's perfume. And these things have this smell, right? Like that, that you, they become familiar, they become attractive. Like, and there's something that we appreciate and then they make us feel like confident or make us feel like, warm or whatever it is and 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 that's how our stories affect god it's this thing he just wants to smell and it's something he just wants to kind of take in and allow to bring pleasantry to to the heavenlies and and so your story does that when you live your story it does that so continue living boldly continue moving forward continue being the person and becoming the person god has called you to become Love you guys, and I'll be back here with you tomorrow as we continue with day number 30. We'll see you then.